Hey everyone, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the new crypto DeFi wallet in crypto.com. I know a lot of people in my group were having issues with having their funds stuck on the exchange and not being able to do it from a mobile phone. So I'm going to show you exactly some of the problems that people were having and how I resolved it. And then also how to transfer your CRO to the new DeFi wallet and some of the steps. So let's get into the video. Hey, before we get into the video, if you could do me a favor, click on that little subscribe button. It helps with the algorithm. Also, just a little notification. I do have a free course that has a lot of the tutorials. It has a beginner's course that is completely 100% free. It teaches about Ethereum, Bitcoin, but a lot of people like this course because they see and they can learn a lot of the over-the-shoulder lessons and how-tos. You can see I've got VeChain, transferring coins, sharing, how to buy a sharing, how to use MetaMask my ethereum wallet uniswap as well as we talk about cryptocurrency wallets and how to as well as we have a section called hidden gems so again please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you want access to the free course just come over to the top here learn.techtips2go.com and click on the free course and let's get into the video all right so here we are in my crypto.com wallet so my crypto app this is a crypto app and i'm going to show you uh there's there's a couple of things you're going to receive an email from crypto.com about the new crypto DeFi wallet so check your email and just make sure that you have it so this is the email that you're going to get it's going to say crypto.org chain mainnet is now live so uh, it's going to prompt you to download the DeFi wallet so once you download the DeFi wallet it's going to go through the steps of setting up the new wallet um, or importing your, your wallet. For me, I set up a new wallet and I downloaded it. After that, it's going to ask you to connect. So I'm not going to put all of the steps in here, but I'm just going to show you here. So once you've actually connected, uh, it just tells you that you've requested, you know, the crypto.com DeFi wallet to your app. So then it asks you below to connect it. So you just select connect. And after you've connected, it actually gives you a notification that you successfully connected. And it tells you how you can move your, your CRO or your crypto.com over to the new DeFi wallet. So as you can see here, I've got the crypto app, which is the older app. Then I also have the new DeFi wallet. So the main point here, what we're trying to do is get our CRO to get the 47% APY on the DeFi wallet. So let me just open this up. So I've, over here, you could actually see that I have uh, $370 in my DeFi wallet. And let's just come over here to the bottom right and click on Earn. So on DeFi Earn, we've got, look at this. So 65.24, wow, on SUSD. So those are some nice rates. On, on CRO, you're getting 43.5%. So I'm going to actually put my on uh, CRO just to earn a lot but you can see the, the percentages here so this is a very high APY especially um, you know coming from crypto.com you know before the rates were I think at most 16 to 18 percent but if you look at this this is 43.5 PA so this is really 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 good so let's go over back to crypto.com uh, so the problem that a lot of people were having was on my exchange so over here it said that my exchange had majority of my funds it was like six thousand something uh on my exchange and i was trying to move my funds from the exchange over to the crypto wallet and i couldn't do that so to solve this problem you actually have to come over to crypto.com on the desktop side so come over here to advanced training and just come over to um, exchange index and what you want to do is log in and then you want to put in your 2FA address, which is your Google Authenticator. So now that I'm in, what I did was I came over here to Wallets. And I came over to Spot Wallet. And underneath CRO, so I already did this. Basically, it showed me my balance. Then I did a withdrawal. Okay, so when i did the withdrawal i didn't go from an external wallet i just said crypto.com app because my crypto.com app is basically it's the same login as you're using from desktop or exchange uh, or ios or android and vice versa just make sure that you're logging in with that same email then you can do this crypto.com app instantly transfer crypto to your app account with no fees so i selected this part 
and I see it shows that your crypto.com app is connected, withdraw all and review. And right away it went to uh, my phone. It went from exchange. Then it went over to my crypto.com wallet. Now I can proceed to actually bring it over to the crypto DeFi wallet, the new DeFi wallet. So let's go over here. Let's click on it and look. So we could transfer now. So let's just do a sample. Let's transfer and let's just do a withdrawal. And look, so now I could do it from a crypto.com DeFi wallet. So let's select that. Now we want to select crypto.com CRO. Now look, before this said zero, right? And it kept giving me that annoying zero and uh, I, we couldn't figure out what was going on. But now that we know that it's stuck on the exchange, you got to do it from the desktop and then do a withdrawal to the crypto.com app and then go back to your app and do that. So let's just do a sample. So this is where people get mixed up a lot. Now you have to be careful. People don't know what this option means. CRO versus ERC-20. So there's a little icon here, a little information icon. You could click on that and it'll tell you what it is. So CRO is the native currency of the crypto.com chain, while ERC-20 is a CRR token that's created and hosted on the Ethereum blockchain. So let me explain this in my own words. Crypto.com CRO is a native token, meaning if you bought the native token, let's say on the crypto.com platform, usually it's native CRO, meaning it's um, it came from CRO, it's a CRO token, and it, it wasn't built on another blockchain, which is ERC-20, which is the Ethereum chain. Now, where can you get the Ethereum chain token? Maybe you've probably found it on... Um, you know, on Ethereum, on Uniswap, or you might have bought it on another exchange that was built on Ethereum. So if you have a CRO token that is an ERC-20 or that was that came from an Ethereum chain, then you'd be selecting this. Now, how would you know if it's an ERC-20 token? You come over here to Etherscan and you could even, even type in CRO. And I'm going to show you this. Look, CRO. I'm going to show you the differences here. Look, see the numbers 0x, 0x, 0x. Those are Ethereum numeric numbers and letters. That's how usually Ethereum chain tokens or ERC-20 tokens start with. If you're familiar with different blockchains like Bitcoin or Tron TRX, usually you'll see something different like a TR something, right? Or Go chain tokens. So Ethereum chain tokens usually start with a 0x. Now, if it's now, let's say we're doing this from a different way. So let's close this. We're going to we're going to transfer this and I'm going to show you what a CRO address looks like. So let's do a withdrawal. Uh, let's go to an external wallet. Look at this. So this is my DeFi CRO wallet. Look, look at how it starts with CRO, right? So it tells you that this is a native CRO token, not an Ethereum that starts with 0x. So let's go back. Let's actually do a transfer. So let's transfer this out. Let's go to withdrawal. Let's go to crypto DeFi wallet. And let's just do a sample. So we're going to go to crypto.com and make sure that CRO is selected. And let's just do $100 as a sample. So let's go to withdrawal. Let's look at the data. Let's look at everything here connected. You know, it shows that I'm connected and let's do a confirm. Perfect. Your CR withdrawal request has been submitted. Tap anywhere. So now let's go back to the crypto.com app or DeFi wallet. So we have 370. Let's just see if an extra $100 comes in here. If it does, then we're going to send the full amount. And over here, you could actually look at the date. So this was last night. Uh, I received 1,263 and you know we're just going to scroll down or swipe down so let's just swipe down and just see oops something went wrong there you go so it actually gave me a notification from the app your your 480.21 was confirmed so now let's go back to our crypto or coin and just come over here and perfect boom right there wednesday march 31st which is today i received the 480 so now i'm going to go back to the DeFi wallet and I'm going to do the remaining amount. So I'm just going to go back to here, click on CRO. Let's do a transfer. Let's do a withdrawal. Now I'm going to select.
Crypto.com DeFi wallet. I'm going to select CRO. And I'm going to make sure that CRO is connected. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do the max. Then I'm going to do the max over here. So let's go max. Now, you can see that I did 5,420. The reason why... I can't do the full max is because I have a thousand. I think I have five thousand CRO that's being staked for 145 days for my uh, Crypto.com card, so I can't touch that. It's locked, so I could only do 25,000. So I'm just gonna do a withdrawal. Make sure that CRO is, is selected over here. Like I said, withdrawal. Now let's take a look. See, it shows that it's connected to my CRO because I named this connected. I named it to Crow DeFi Wallet. Now I'm going to select confirm. Perfect. And then now what we're going to do is going to go back to the DeFi Wallet and just keep swiping up or down. And we're going to wait for this little icon to show up that it shows that it was successfully withdrawn and then this amount is going to change. Perfect. And you see that your 25,000 withdrawal is complete. So let's just swipe down over here. Perfect. Now we can go here, available in DeFi Earn. So let's see what's available that we can do. Now let's swipe down. Let's see, it says 1,726 that is available. Let's just see if this turns. Let's just click on it. Okay, perfect. Now it shows my crypto 28,000 that I have here. Okay, so now let's uh, come over to Earn and let's just see if this changed. Let's select CRO. Actually, sorry, let's select start earning. Now it shows my balance. See, I had to do a refresh, so don't get scared. I, I kind of got a little scared. I was like, okay, how come it's not refreshing? Perfect. So let's just select this. And now we can look at this, and it says our CRO balance, CRO balance is 28,000 something. Let's click on max, and let's stake. Perfect. So it gives you... Uh, some options. So to the validator called New Shepherd, stake amount, estimating network fee is 0 0.0002 of a CRO. It's amazing that the fees are like, I don't even know. I don't even think this is a penny. A anyways, it's really cheap. You know, if you're used to working with Ethereum chain, Uniswap, um, it kind of makes you throw up because, you know, it just, it's, it's gross. The Ethereum gas fees are disgusting. Anyways, this is the commission that the validator is taking. So they're taking a 15% commission. So we could look um, 6,057. We're going to stake. We're going to get a percentage of about 43 to 45%. Now we're just going to select confirm stake. And you can say, I understand that my CRO and crypto.org chain staking is subject to a 28 day unbonding period when I unstake, as enforced by the crypto.org chain. So basically, what this means is. In order for you to withdraw your funds, you need a 28-day unbonding period. So that means you unbond it. This is similar to uh, Polkadot. So basically, Polkadot has a 28-day bonding period, unbonding period, meaning when you click on bond, 28 days after, it will be available. It won't be unstaked. You have to unstake it after. So basically, this is what it's telling you. So if you want to unbond this, so you can say don't... Don't show me this again. Let's proceed. So over here it says proceed. We click on proceed. Perfect. It says request submitted. Your request is stake, you know, uh, 28,000. Uh, click on view details to validator, new shepherd. And you could view this the status on the Explorer. So perfect. So it says staking CRO. Perfect. 43.49. Uh, so basically you can come over here and take a look. Click on it. The request is submitted. I'll go back later and do another video on how to unbond it. But I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure it's similar to uh, to Polkadot unbonding period, you know, where you have to click on unbond. It's probably a lot harder because Polkadot is, is different with using on-chain validators and stuff. So you have to unbond, then wait 28 days, then go back and then remove it from your stash account to wherever your controller or to another wallet, etc. So um, Polkadot's a different beast. Some people like Kraken, but uh, this, this video is on CRO. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys don't get stuck like I did. But to recap everything, you just want to go over at crypto.com, 
uh, go to sign in and then once you sign in you go to the advanced section or just go to your wallets your spot wallet and you do a withdrawal do a withdrawal to the crypto.com app select um, so it shows that you're it's connected right both accounts are connected withdrawal all and then follow my procedures and it's pretty straightforward the only thing that you have to be cautious of is like i said is are you do, working with a native cro token or an ethereum chain token and like I said, the Ethereum chain token is going to start with a 0x. The native token for CRO, Crow, starts with a CRO. So anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, like always, make sure you comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.